All things were made through imagination. Every physical effect has an imaginal cause, and no effect ever returns void but prospers in that for which it was sent forth. Tonight I want you to take this truth to heart, for within these words lies the very foundation of the phenomena of life. Think of what this means. All things, not some things, but all things, were made through imagination. Everything you now see, touch, and experience first began as an imaginal act. The home you live in, the job you hold, the relationships you enjoy or struggle with. Each of these was first a seed planted in the invisible realm of imagination. And just as a planted seed knows no return to the hand that cast it, so too does the imaginal act move outward, finding form in the physical world. But I tell you, this truth is not confined to grand or far-off ideas. It is at work every moment of your life, in every thought you accept as true, in every feeling you allow yourself to dwell upon. And whether you realize it or not, your imagination is shaping the world around you. Every effect you see in your life, from the smallest detail to the grandest achievement, has an imaginal cause. So often, we look outward, searching for explanations and answers in the external world. But this is a misguided quest. The true cause of every event lies within you. Every physical effect is born from an imaginal cause. If you see success, it is because you imagined it. If you experience hardship, it is because some belief or thought within you allowed it to take shape. There is no other origin no other source but your own consciousness. And I assure you, nothing is ever void. Nothing returns empty. What you send forth in imagination returns to you, fulfilling itself with unerring precision. Imagine yourself as wealthy, as loved, as free, and this imaginal act will take root in the subconscious mind. It will prosper in that for which it was sent forth. Just as a seed knows to grow into the plant it was designed to become, so too does your imaginal act find expression in the form it was given. This creative process is not something external to you. It is happening within you, through you, as you. You are always sending forth imaginal acts, always casting seeds into the soil of the subconscious. And as you do, these seeds grow, taking shape as the circumstances of your life. If you do not like the conditions around you, do not look to the outer world to fix them. Instead, turn within, for it is within that the true cause resides. You may ask, how can this be? How can imagination, something so intangible, create physical effects? But I tell you, imagination is the only reality. The world you see is nothing but yourself pushed out a mirror reflecting the contents of your inner world. When you change your inner world, when you imagine yourself to be different, the outer world must respond in kind. This is not a question of chance or luck. It is the law. So how do we use this law? By assuming that what we desire is already ours. When you assume a state, when you feel yourself to be the person you wish to become, you are planting a seed in the invisible realm. This assumption held with faith will move outward, taking root and growing into fact. Let me share an example to illustrate this. Imagine a man who desires wealth. If he only hopes for wealth, if he only wishes for it, he will find himself forever waiting. But if he imagines himself to be wealthy, if he feels the freedom and ease that comes with abundance, then this feeling will prosper in that for which it was sent forth. He does not need to know how his desire will be fulfilled. He only needs to assume that it is already so. In time, he will find that the world reflects his inner state, providing him with opportunities, resources, and relationships that align with his assumption. The power of imagination is limitless. There is no condition too great no desire too grand for it to fulfill. 
The only limitations are those you impose upon yourself. When you dare to imagine boldly, when you feel yourself to be the person you long to become, you set the law into motion. Every thought and feeling you hold within sends forth an effect that must return to you, bringing into form that which you have imagined. This is why faith is essential. Faith is not merely hoping for a better tomorrow. Faith is loyalty to the unseen reality. When you imagine, you must believe that your imaginal act is as real as any physical object. You must hold to this belief, even when the outer world seems unchanged. Remember, every effect has its appointed hour. The vision ripens, it will flower. If it seems long, wait, for it is sure and will not be late. Many give up too soon. They look at the world around them and let doubt creep in. But I urge you, remain steadfast in your faith. Persist in your assumption, for it will prosper in that for which it was sent forth. Just as a farmer waits patiently for his crops to grow, so too must you wait for your imaginal acts to bear fruit. To truly harness the power of imagination, you must live from the end. This means feeling, thinking, and acting as though your desire were already fulfilled. If you want love, feel the joy of being loved. If you want success, feel the pride of accomplishment. And as you hold these feelings within, know that they are the seeds that will grow into your reality. Let me remind you of this truth. No effect ever returns void but prospers in that for which it was sent forth. Every imaginal act you send forth must accomplish what you have imagined. It cannot fail, for it is rooted in the divine power of God within you. When you understand this, you will realize that all things are possible to you if you only dare to imagine boldly and believe. So tonight, go within. Close your eyes and enter the stillness. Imagine yourself as the person you wish to be. Feel the reality of your desire and know that this feeling is a seed planted in the subconscious. Let it grow, let it prosper, and let it bring forth the life you desire. Hold to this truth, for it is the key to all creation. All things were made through imagination. Every physical effect has an imaginal cause, and no effect ever returns void but prospers in that for which it was sent forth. 